Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is actually a lot different than my traditional weekly videos, but I feel like it's something that I was really researching a couple years ago and it's a video that I think might also help you out too if you're looking to get involved in influencer marketing. But I'm gonna walk you guys through how I got involved and became an influencer marketing manager. So what is up you guys? My name's Taylor. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I typically make Make lifestyle beauty fashion videos we are just gonna dive in and there is no rule book or playbook on how to get involved in the industry I want to walk you guys through my story and really how I got to where I am today as you can see I'm very into like manifesting and a vision board and setting goals for myself and I've really always been like that and I feel like in high school I always knew that I wanted to do something with social media and I started making YouTube videos in high school definitely got made fun of for it but I just loved it I enjoyed it and it's something that I wanted to be part of my life but I'm gonna start by saying I have always been passionate about social media and always have been having it in some part of my life as a creator myself being a creator I guess you could say I obviously had to learn a lot of different platforms and how to edit YouTube videos how to make things look nice I invested in the equipment and I was producing content but also like learning along the way what worked what didn't work and that made me always kind of studying like what's trendy and what should I make my video about me starting my YouTube channel happened pre-college and I'm gonna quickly dive into what my college experience looked like I actually went to a community college to start and that's like a whole nother story and I actually made a video on that that's a whole thing I went to community college for two years and then I transferred it to a normal university for your college and during that time I knew I wanted to do something in business but I really was not sure at all where I wanted to go a big thing for me what I did during college was internships and then just networking I hate to use the term networking because all I was really doing is like talking to people in my life and asking them what they do for a living like interviewing people in normal conversation because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do one of my cousins worked at a big Big insurance company and she's like you can work here and not even like know what insurance is or deal with it but if you want to like learn about business and project management you should apply for an internship so I did it was a 40 hour week for my entire summer working with the project management team and just learning a lot about business this is a huge company like the building was massive there's thousands of employees and I really got to experience like what that business was like and what project management management was like and different tools that they used. It was a really, really great experience, but it also kind of triggered my brain to say, okay, I don't want this. This is not what I want. And then I started to think about social media and I'm like, why am I thinking that these jobs don't exist? Because who is running people's Facebook page? Who is running people's Instagram account? Like who is doing all this stuff? It's obviously someone who works for the company. I ended up talking to the girl that worked at my college in the digital market marketing space and just getting so much information from her and like how she got involved and she actually suggested me getting an internship at a digital marketing agency that was local in our area. I applied for that and was told that I probably wasn't going to get it because I didn't have enough previous internship experience. I had to take like a quiz and write like Instagram captions, Facebook copy. I had to write up like a fake blog post and then I got interviewed and I got the internship. So Getting involved in digital marketing was like a huge thing on my resume because I knew if I wanted to go on social media, I needed to have some digital experience. If you're in college right now, I highly suggest doing internships even if you hate it. It's a good resume builder and it'll tell you whether you like it or not. I did live at home throughout college, so I also was able to balance a part-time job during college. I was trying to make money at a part-time job because the internship was and paid. During that time, I was working at a brewery and since I wanted to get more involved in social media and build up my resume, I talked to the owner and I was like, hey, can I help run your Facebook page or can I just like start helping with your Instagram? Pretty much just pitching myself and being like, I 
I think I know what I'm doing. Can I do it for your company? And he let me do that, which was awesome because again, it was just another thing to put on my resume. Then 2020 happened and my internship came to a close. The brewery shut down temporarily and I was graduating. I was really betting on getting a job at that digital marketing agency. That was like something I wanted to pursue, but they ended up letting me go because they were letting employees go. So they really just didn't need an intern on. Because of 2020, I was unemployed for a little bit, but still during that time, I was trying really hard to reach out to local businesses to see if I could do like freelance work for them and help amp up their social media. But like there was businesses closing and things like weren't open. So it was a little tough and that is when I started networking like a literal crazy person. I was thinking about everyone and everyone that I knew and I actually connected with my cousin's best friend who worked in the fashion industry and I was like you know what I love beauty and I love fashion like can I maybe get a job in that area. Even if it wasn't in social media to start, like I was literally willing to work in customer service. I mentioned that I was super passionate about social media. I loved beauty, I loved fashion, I make YouTube videos. And she ended up connecting me with like a bunch of other people, which I'm so blessed because those are the people that kind of helped me take the steps to eventually get where I am. Two big things that they told me to do were update my resume and make it pretty and make it like you are a marketing person. If I wanted to work in the creative space, I couldn't just have a basic resume. I also had a lot of people tell me to make a website and a portfolio. So that is also what I did. I put all of my work on there. I talked about my YouTube channel. I talked about the digital marketing experience and I gave examples of the work that I did. I talked about the small brand deals that I had on my own YouTube channel. And this was something that I was sending to companies when I was applying for jobs with which I think is a huge game changer because typically businesses are just like looking at your resume, looking for keywords and being like, all right, now next. But having a website really makes you stick out because it gives them a visual, it lets them scroll. It shows that you're going like above and beyond and you really want that job. But because 2020 sucked so bad, I would interview and then the role would just get pulled. Like companies were just not doing well. For a solid eight months in 2020, I was applying for hundreds of jobs and working like four days a week at the brewery, trying to balance content creation, but like there was no movement. So I talked to my wonderful parents and said, hey guys, I don't have a full-time job yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I was like, what if I get a paid internship? Like if I can support myself and start at a company in an internship, like I know I graduated and that's kind of unusual, but like I'm gonna get experience. And I feel like at this time, businesses aren't willing to pay to onboard like and pay for benefits and everything like that. So I started applying for internships and the first one I applied for was with a beauty company in the social media space. What I did was DM the brand on Instagram after I applied, kind of pitching myself, telling them all of my experience, sending the link to my website, and they told me they would be in touch if it was a good fit. I went through a couple rounds of interviews and really talked about my passion, but also the fact that I do content creation. So I already have that experience under me that like I have the eye for social media. And I got the internship, so that was amazing. But of course, in the the back of my head I was like this doesn't guarantee me a job because at the end of the day an internship you're there to help out you're there to get the experience it doesn't mean that they're gonna move you into a full-time position during the internship I was part-time so I was paid intern part-time and then I worked at the brewery part-time so I was like working full-time hours I told myself I was gonna give myself a break and not apply to any jobs for a couple months and then a couple months went into the internship and I was still unsure if I was gonna get hired so I just kept applying and networking since I was in the beauty space and working in social media I was like okay this gives me experience and I can go pitch myself to beauty brands and the social media space and I ended up connecting with some pretty amazing people and having some awesome conversations. There is some diamonds in the rough out there that they're actually willing to answer your LinkedIn or email. And I would hop on calls with people and just like 
interrogate them and ask them a bunch of questions about their job, about the company. I was like on their roster at that point. They were like, okay, if something opens up, like you're our call, like we will call you. I eventually was asked to do the internship full time. So I gave up a couple of my shifts at the brewery and I started working more with partnerships, working with platforms like Octoly. And I actually used Octoly on like the creator side. So I knew what the point of the platform was who to work with and how it all works, doing things on the creator side, getting brand deals on the creator side, joining ambassador programs on the creator side gave me that leg up. I was able to prove myself and pitch things because I was experiencing those things on the creator side. Even helping with like email copy and how to get a creator on board and how to get a creator into your affiliate program and like what language looks like, what campaign briefs look like. Being able to do that on the creator side was huge. I already feel blessed being able to do that on the creator side, but even if you're not getting brand deals, you can start looking at ambassador programs. You can start digging into what influencer programs look like, and you're gonna know how it works once you get involved in a specific company. Eventually, I was offered full-time at my current position, and now I am an official influencer marketing manager, and I feel like I'm really in the position that I I manifested. I love working with creators, but I also feel like having all these experiences really got me to where I am today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this from me, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments down below. Here's to living out our dreams. I appreciate all of your support. Don't forget to go follow my other social media channels and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.